The trains were an extension of my love for industrial mechanical things. I was lured to them for their beauty as objects. They were part of a machinery, the cogs of capitalism, getting people in and out of work and home, back and forth. And we took it as not just a vehicle to get from point A to point B, but to extend the voice farther than the language that we know, than the alphabets that we know. I thought that it was a gateway to reintroduce myself as an artist to the masses. People never expected to see what I was painting on the trains. Even some of my peers, most of my peers, didn't expect to see what I was painting on those trains. If I was going to take that kind of real estate, I wanted to make sure that that train, that car had a lot of weight to it other than it's 40 tons. I wanted people to really seek that train out as a message of relevance. Of course, there was a criminal element to it, but we didn't do things out of malice. We just needed an outlet and we were very resourceful with what we had, or the little that we had in a city that was broke. Conceptually, it was a genius move by a small number of young people in a big city like this to bring their work to many millions and now billions around the world. I think there was a calling there for me that I had to be a part of.